it's been eight years since the last time we uh, it aired, and uh, we just thought that there was another story that could be told, and uh, um, it just made sense. In a way, the show is never really going away. Like it went off the air in 2008, 2009, right. but people are still coming to the show fresh every week, courtesy of Netflix. And when we understood that that appetite was still there, it was like, well, how do we, how do we satisfy that? Yes. Uh, probably not well, would be my guess. I don't want to give it all away. But um, yeah, it's on Michael's radar that someone else is raising the son that he's never met. And I think that's part of the uh, fuel in his tank motivating him to get out of Yemen um, in this dangerous, hostile situation and get back home if he can. Yeah. No, that was uh, a total kind of fluke. I was cast as Captain Cold for a guest star on The Flash, and the producers came to me and said, you know, we're, we're looking to hire your, uh, your character's partner in crime, this heat wave character. They described him, they're like, do you have anyone who could play this, like, hothead force of nature? I'm like, Dominic Purcell. Not imagining that they would actually put those pieces together. So they did somehow manage to cast Dominic, and we wound up on the same set. And out of that reunion came the prison break conversation. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Um, I'm take all the fun out of it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I had. Just that one line. Yeah. I hear whatever you said. I want to say thank you for the love and the support, um, which has never diminished in all these years. And uh, you have a lot to look forward to. Mm. Uh, much the same. Um, pretty appreciative of the fans. And thank you for uh, tuning in and uh, get ready for uh, the next one.